Hey there. After Tampa Bay scored 12 goals in two games, especially after that overtime, you looked despondent. Is redemption a word that would apply to tonight? Um, not sure. Uh, <clears throat> it was probably, you know, the last 48 hours or so, it's been pretty tough mentally to not overanalyze or, or complicate things. Um, but it's been good, you know, I have probably the best goalie coach in the world to talk to about a situation like this where, you know, I play 12, 13 games where I feel like I'm at a level where I'm really helping the team. And then you have two games where um, I think I'm okay against a really good team. And then you look really average because uh, even tonight, you know, the, the looks they have, the chances they create, you need to be on top of your game or it's going to be a tough night. And it's not only this series, you know, the last couple of years, it's been uh, pretty tough for us and for me uh, to have a good result against this team. So it was, um, you know, a little soul searching and, and uh, uh, also talking about my game and what I, you know, could do to um, have better result. And I think in the end, uh, I made a few adjustments and it really paid off. Uh, Henrik, to your left. The last two games, you saw them coming at you. Their top players were their top players, their best players. And tonight, whether it was with saves or goals, your best players were your best players. That type of response, what does it say about this group? <clears throat> well, I think it's important you realize, um, you know, in the, in the big moments that we all have to step up. Not only, uh, you know, your top players, and I feel like the entire team stepped up tonight. and. Uh, there were times where, you know, especially in the second, where they came really hard, but we weathered the storm, and then we, we answered back with some huge goals. And that's what feels so good when um, you feel like you're doing it together. It's not just one or two guys, but we, we had everyone step up tonight, and we knew the importance of this game. Going home 3-1 against this team would have been extremely tough. So um, our goal was just to, to get this one. And, and uh, I talked about this morning, a new day, new opportunity, even though, like I said, it's been tough to win in this building. Um, it's the playoffs now, and it's a different approach, I think. And um, after the, you know, we scored that second and even third goal, it felt like we controlled the game pretty good. Henrik, um, is, in your opinion, individually, was this your best game of the playoffs? Is this as zoned in as you've been? Um, it's probably one of the tougher games. I had a couple tough ones against Wash as well, I remember, physically and mentally. But coming off two losses and, and, and a lot of goals scored, obviously, uh, um, you don't feel great. You walk around, you think a lot, and, and to come into this game and be able to, to play a strong game, uh, that obviously feels good. But um, it definitely helps when, when you have great people around you supporting you and give you good advice how, how to move forward and how to approach a game like this. And um, so Benoit means a lot to me, and it, especially on, when you're under a lot of pressure to have someone to talk to and <clears throat> get guidance. Uh, Henrik, how important is it for you to look and see guys that have also struggled lately like Nash and Martin St. Louis get on the board tonight? Well, it's always important to have guys that like to score, to score. You know, they feel good about their game. And even though they, they do so many different things to, to help the team, um, I think they, uh, you know, when, when they put the puck in the net, they get all extra confidence. And, and um, you know, that first goal by Nash, it's just uh, that's, that, that's the way he scored his goals, taking puck to the net and just show how, how strong he is and, and the speed he has. So that was great to see. And it kind of set the tone for, for us tonight. Henrik, you said, you said this morning that you, you thought being OK was not going to be good enough. Do you feel like you need to be exceptional for you guys to have a chance to beat this team? Well, I don't know what level I need to play, but I know OK is not going to be enough. Uh, even tonight, I luck a couple times, but I felt like I, I was in good position. I was patient. When they had their big chances, I, I was on my feet and I was reading the situations better. Uh, if you're not doing that, you, you get exposed and, and they can put easily four or five goals uh, on the board. But that's why it's so important to uh, stick to your game plan and not overthink it. Um, 
But to answer your question, I know okay is not enough, but after that, I, I just, I approach this game, go out and do your job and, and do it as good as you can. And then we'll see how far um, it takes us. And, and the team really responded after their goal. And uh, that's a great feeling when, when you feel like, <clears throat> you know, you come up with a couple saves and then we go right back at them and, and score a couple big goals and kind of change the momentum in the game. And um, great team effort tonight. Sunday at 7.30, get ready for Rangers Lightning Game 5 with Rangers Game Night. Then immediately after the game, tune back to MSG for the Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame. Get extensive coverage before and after Rangers Lightning Game 5, Sunday on MSG.